Whenever you're doing a free radical bromination on a molecule that is an alkene, such as this molecule right here, there's always a possibility that the bromine molecule will react with and add to the alkene instead of doing the radical reaction that you're hoping for. So in this situation right here, there's a possibility that not only will we make the expected free radical bromination product, which would look like this, there's also a possibility that some of those bromine molecules will just simply add to the alkene in a regular alkene addition reaction. In order to prevent this product from being formed, we can use a reagent called NBS. I've given you the structure of NBS right here, although it's not one that's important for you to memorize. The NBS molecule is a source of the bromine free radical and it is not the Br2 molecule. The nitrogen bromine bond breaks homolytically, just like we would expect, produces the bromine radical, and because we don't have any Br2 present, we don't have to worry about this side reaction taking place. So here's an example of an alkene where we are doing an NBS bromination reaction. And in this situation, the only product that we are going to get is the expected free radical bromination product. We don't have to worry about the formation of any kind of side products. NBS is a reagent that works to do bromination on any type of molecule. It doesn't have to be an alkene. So this molecule down here will also work just fine with NBS.